What's going on everybody? I am out in the middle of freaking nowhere right now, but check this out. We are doing a van tour with this guy today, Josh from The Boondocker. It is a Ram Pro Master, but I am not, he's moving it in position so we can kind of get some good shots of it. I'm not gonna even say anything about this van. I am super excited about it. I've known this guy for a while and I get to now tour his van and show it to all of you guys out there. So let's get this going. We are, where are we, dude? Orange We're in Orange County. Orange County, what's good enough? I'm here with, with Josh, and we are gonna look at this guy's van right now. He's gonna tell us all about it. I've actually known him for a little while now. I've been following him on Instagram. Check him out, he's at the Boondocker, but he's got so much information for you guys. It's crazy, I actually love his build. He did a lot of exterior work. We're gonna check everything out right now. Here we go. What's up, bud? <laughs> I'm gonna step in if that's okay. Yeah, come on in. I'm gonna go over here and you're kinda just gonna walk us through the van, brother. How's that? Sounds good. Yeah? Yeah. First of all, what are you even driving? So a Ram Pro Master 3500 um, extended, 159 inch extended. <sighs> this thing's a big boy, huh? It's, it's the biggest one I think. <laughs> you did a lot of work on your exterior that I'm like super jealous of. Can kind of explain what you did on the outside. Yeah, so the outside I have a, um, like a rhino lining, a bed liner type material and that prevents um, scratching and, and denting from like rocks and stuff like that when I take the van out into the wilderness. I have a aluminous roof rack. Um, I have a 330 watt solar panel up on the roof, Panasonic solar panel up on the roof. I got a couple of windows, a couple vent fans, a light bar, and a, uh, I guess like a, what do you call it? A grill, a grill guard um, yeah. up on the front. Wow, okay. Yeah, so. Is all the, is all the, the bumper, I know you said aluminum roof rack, is the bumper also aluminous? No, it's not. Okay. They don't make a, they don't make one for the ProMaster. So oh, that's it's right. It's like an aftermarket. I forget what that is. It still looks beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I do love it. I love it. It, it looks good and this definitely has saved my ass a couple of times. <laughs> and this paint job is out of this world. It's like, it like looks durable. That's probably the, like the number one thing uh, that I get commented on when I pull into like a yeah. gas station or uh, like a parking lot of a, like a grocery store. I'll ha actually have people like waiting for me outside my van, like when I'm getting groceries and they'll just be standing at the van. like. Can you tell me about this this <laughs> van and this paint job and like so pretty much almost half the time i go stop and get gas somebody at the pump next to me like wants to talk about the paint job and you have something that i don't i'm trying to think if i've done i've done a lot of tours but i don't know if i've done a tour with somebody that has a dual slider yeah don't worry we'll show that all uh, everybody right now but you have a, you have another door over on this side so it's it, it's cross ventilation or yeah it's it's good for cross ventilation um and i actually this is my pantry here so i can actually i left the back of the pantry open so when i'm cooking outside which i do a lot of cooking outside yeah i can get food out of the pantry without tracking any dirt or dust inside the van so you're and you are an adventurer you do like you spend a lot of your time outdoors adventuring that kind of jazz but so you're out on trailheads cooking and doing that kind of stuff and that kind of like you don't live like i do which is mostly city life yeah so like my van is the boondocker and i do <laughs> a lot of boondocking my instagram is the dot boondocker and i spend probably 90 percent of my time out in um on public lands uh, blm uh, national parks national forests state parks um and i really only come into the cities to do laundry work out get groceries visit friends and stuff like that and um, i try and get out of the civilization as uh <laughs> as fast as possible. So. That's awesome, man. Yeah. And even before we get into this tour, which you're gonna show us now, we've talked about the outside. You're about to show me the entire inside, which looks beautifully. And I can't wait to show this off to everybody. But word is you're selling this bad boy? Yeah, I am. Oh um, my. So I wanna travel a little bit internationally. Okay. I don't want the van just kind of sitting in storage for a year or however long I'm gonna be traveling for. Cool. And then I also, I would like to build like a more of a smaller van for like more weekend traveling and stuff like that. I originally built this van for full-time living and it was more of like to travel full time for two to three years and I love it and I'm never gonna leave van life. I always wanna have a van and- um, Love it. And for, you know, so this is more for, I want somebody to enjoy this, somebody that's gonna be living in it like full time. Right. And I'm gonna be transitioning to more of like a part-time van life type cool. of thing when I come back from traveling. Cool. And I really enjoyed the, the process of building the van out. Yeah. Um, and designing it and stuff like that. And I have some ideas for like another one. So um, I kinda wanna sell this one and travel and then and then build another one awesome and you were even just talking about you're sticking with promaster yeah you're not even going to sprinter you're going or transit you're going to 
Pro Master, man. Yeah, I, I like, love that. I like the Pro Master. You know, I've heard good things about the Sprinter, but for me, I like the accessibility of Ram dealerships. They're like everywhere. Yeah. I like the cost of the maintenance of the Pro Master better <laughs> than the Sprinter. I miss the cost of the maintenance. <laughs> I like, you know, the step ups a little bit easier. Yeah. I like the width both on the inside. I really, one big thing I wanted was to be, to be able to lay my bed. Yeah, the length was, yeah. Lengthwise across the van. Yeah. And, and also like the solar panel, I can lay the solar panel completely lengthwise what well. you did and you I said earlier you have a 300 and is it 300 flat or 300 330 watt 330 watt uh, panasonic hit like a high intensity panel so it, it lays across so i have pretty much from basically from from here all the way back is usable deck space up up top yeah because you got a kayak up there you got yeah. other goodies up there it's yeah. crazy yeah I have, I have two fans i have a kayak and i still have enough room for lounge chair <laughs> Yeah, the lounge chair and like four people can go up there and hang out. Up yeah, there and, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so. And again, thanks to Illuminus because they, they made that work out for you. Yeah, Illuminus was really good. When I was ordering the, the ProMaster rack, this was like two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. They had told me that they were going to stop making the ProMaster yeah. roof rack. And I kind of like really begged them to, to do this one last one for me. I think now the popularity of the ProMaster, I think they kind of changed mm -hmm. their mind. And I think they're starting to do the Pro masters again yeah i think they are so, but i love the, the roof rack and they're definitely not cheap but uh they're very well made and um, i had a good experience i actually drove from florida to california because i didn't want to pay for shipping yeah have them ship it all the way to florida and i was already coming out to california anyways so i actually went to their their location in san diego yeah and um, they installed it for me i love those guys i've, yeah, I've toured them they're amazing yeah you had a great experience so i yeah. can't say enough good things about them all right well let's start in the front of the van and kind of work our way back if that's cool i mean uh we'll start right here that you you put a swivel in yeah i put actually put two swivels in i don't really use the, the driver's side one as much as i thought i was going to um but i can turn it at least 90 degrees so that could put a table here and you could dine in the front if you wanted to right i've seen a lot of people put like some like a table that rests right here on this lip yep and then they have like a pole here and they can dine there but you know when i do have people in the van visiting they will turn it but i this one definitely i use a lot so when i get off of a trail like a yep. long trail or after a backpacking trip the first thing i do is sit on this chair and just like just relax for like an hour that's and, awesome and eat and kind of just chill i put my feet up on the counter <laughs> and i'm just chilling and then underneath i have some shoes here but underneath here is my diesel heater so that is uh really great for cold nights i use that quite often that's um, a, one of those big things that people tend to forget not forget about but they don't i feel like they need to invest more into and yeah. that, those heaters are great the ones that you have right in your van right now yeah definitely don't want to skimp on the heater um, because um, especially if you're going to be boondocking and, and in the mountains a lot at higher elevations i don't think people pay attention to elevation but when even if it's like hot and you, you could literally literally drive 20 minutes and to a high, higher elevation and it's really really cold and you bring up a good point higher elevation they make high altitude kits because certain kits Kits don't uh, handle in a high altitude so yeah, i know you have an the, high altitude this has the high, high altitude kit yeah and it's tapped into my diesel so this is a promaster diesel i don't think they make the diesel anymore they don't they stopped yeah. so yeah this van is actually really rare because first of all they don't make the diesel anymore second of all they make a very limited number of dual sliding doors yeah and then uh third it ex it's an extended so to find an extended dual sliding diesel ProMaster. It's not it's easy. It's like a needle in the haystack. It's not easy. I don't know what percentage of the actual ProMasters they would make up, but I would imagine it would be less than five or less than one percent. It's it's not a lot. I can tell you that right now. I don't think I've seen this is my first one I've stepped into. So yeah, so I, I mean I wanted the one thing I wanted was the diesel because they don't make a four by four, and so the diesel has a little bit more torque. And then when you combine that with the front wheel drive and the off and the all terrain tires, yeah, I can go anywhere I want. You can. You don't. You don't get stuck. You don't. Never, you don't have any problems. I've never gotten and you don't have crazy amounts of weight in the back. Yeah, no. You don't have crazy amounts. Like, uh, I've seen other people that have way more weight. Uh, the one thing I didn't do was the cabinets. I wanted a professional cabinet maker to build these cabinets. So he built, like, ultralight cabinets. That's nice. Um, and then these wall panels are, like, those are like a, a, a really hard corrugated plastic. When you when I say plastic, you they're, they're not flexible or flimsy at all. They're, right. like, super hard, super rigid. They actually 
save a lot of weight as well. Nice. So the van's like really light. Nice. I don't know the actual weight, but everything that I did in the van was for, for saving weight. Nice. So the gas mileage is really good. I think I'm like definitely over 20 nice. miles a gallon. I can go 450 miles easy on a tank. Awesome. It's like and, a 24 gallon. And you, you came up with this, I know you did your whole layout and design, that's why I'm gonna ask you questions about it, but you have this like dual counter that, that kind of go across from each other. Yeah. Uh, so you have like a galley, I guess, on this side. And my guess is, and you kind of go into more detail, is you're is your fresh and gray all right here underneath your sink or how's that work yeah so that's a great question my water tank is a 25 gallon water tank under the bed oh it is okay it's over the it's over the passenger side wheel well okay and then the gray water tank is actually under the van okay and that's a seven gallon gray water tank under i got the same one yeah <laughs> i do like that those, where'd you get your 25 i don't know some website okay uh, one of those i just googled uh, freshwater rv tank and, and it's uh, over the wheel well yeah is it go like actually over the wheel well yeah Really? Yeah, I built it. It's got like a... If you have a picture of that, I'd love to see it. Yeah, I do. I okay. have a picture of it, and it's um, it's just built up on a box that I built over the yep. wheel well, and then it's it's actually like, it's probably close to the size of the counter. Well, yeah. One of the counters, that's a perfect size. Yeah, I actually thought about going bigger, which I could have. I have, I have like a good six inches above from the top of the tank to the bed. Sure. And um, I probably could have gone a little bit bigger, but um, I didn't want the, too much weight over that, over that tire. And I was about to say, a lot of people don't realize that the, the, the weight factor is a lot of is an issue yeah. you know it's eight what is it eight pounds per gallon i believe yeah so that's uh you know the people don't realize like i want a 40 50 gallon tank and i'm like are you ready for that amount of weight yeah it's a lot a lot of weight that you're adding to your van i have the battery over the other wheel well so uh um, great distribution i wanted to try and dis distribute it as as well as possible yep and your electrical right. is separate than your your water exactly yeah you don't want to <laughs> definitely don't want to put those two anywhere near each other no because together. just in case god forbid if something does leak you don't want your electrical is circling out but that's amazing i actually so now this is all storage for you yeah pretty much uh, yeah I, I mean it's kind of probably a mess in here but i have a, a soda stream because I, I really like seltzer water um, cool and i have uh this box here that has just like kind of like protein it's just storage of protein yeah of course and yeah towels and all kinds of stuff and then my my cooktop is right here and i'll take that out uh, in a minute and um like breakfast stuff and stuff like that. So, and I, 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 re, I routed the, um, I got one of these special traps. So it routes the, the drain water. Oh, oh, so I can use all of the under the sink. So it kind of like puts it down the side yeah, of, cool. the, um, like that. of the uh, cabinet. And I actually have a filtration system too. So I don't oh. actually drink the water from the tank. I just use this for brushing teeth, washing dishes, washing my hands and my face. I could drink it drink it if I wanted to. I'm kind of a stickler for like really pure water, drinking water. Two glass gallon bottles that I mm -hmm. fill up at Glacier Machines yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, Whole, and Whole Foods and, and grocery stores. I'm stuff. actually considering putting a Berkey in mine. And my next build, I'm going to put in a Berkey. Yeah. And I'll, built in into a cabinet. Yes. Thing. Yeah. Your countertops are like super clean looking. Yeah. What the heck are they? <laughs> so they're, they're Corian. So I built the van out in South Florida. There's a whole community of like um, boating community there. Yeah. So a lot of this stuff is comes from the whole like boating methodology where you're know, saving weight. So the Corian looks and feels like quartz. Yeah. But it's like half the weight. And uh, yeah, so that's all it is. And it's basically a sheet of like, I think quarter inch Corian. And then I just doubled up on the edges. And, yeah, it looks um, great. Yeah. It's and, uh, super clean looking. I want, one thing I wanted was like lots of cabinets, uh, counter space. And it's almost like I have like an abundance of cab counter space. It's like almost like too much counter space, but you can never you have You can too never much. have too much. What's yeah. wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, especially in the van when you're, sometimes you just, you come back from a long hike and you just want to throw everything on the counter and you don't want to put everything away right away. It's really nice to have have like lots of counter space and um i wanted the van to feel like really open because i know how it can get like in a van mm -hmm. um, like feeling like claustrophobic so everything from the closet back i wanted it like i didn't want any kind of walls or anything so pretty much from the closet back you can see all the way back through the back of the van that's a good good call right there i'm gonna switch sides with you and talk about your refrigerator a little bit and then your seating area is super in, like i just love it I'm, we're gonna talk a little bit about that the sink is it's like a bar sink and it has like a nice you know cutting board on top and then faucet i specifically wanted to put it in the doorway so that i could take outdoor showers and there you go i didn't have to buy like an, a separate outdoor shower system um so under this cabinet here 
I have a four gallon Bosch water heater. Okay. And then my pump, my water pump is, is in here too. Yeah. And then I actually have an outlet as well under there. I can take showers, wash dishes, and make hot water for like boiling. If you know, want to spend less time like actually boiling a pot of water, I just can use hot water. So I use that a lot. And then when I want to take a shower, you know, obviously I'll shower at campgrounds and gym, in the gym and, yeah. and friends' houses and stuff like that when I, when I can. If I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I really need a shower, I might just literally just hop out. Yeah, I have a there shower. There it is. It actually works really well. It's it definitely it's, saved my life. It's, uh, I was going to say, it's a good way to just take a shower in the middle of nowhere. It's good yeah. stuff. I like that. I like yeah. that a lot. And also like washing off um, my mountain bike and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, and just washing off your feet too. if you're. Or if you had a dog, you could wash your dog off. Exactly. So I can't recommend enough. I see a lot of builds where they put the, the sink over here. Yeah. And I'm like, why? Yeah. Why? You could have just put it right here. You were talking about your Bosch that you had down there at an electric system. You talked about uh, your induction cooktop, which we showed. That's a lot of power, man. What do you have for a power system? I have a 300 amp hour lithium battery from Victron. Okay. And so, yeah. I 300 amp hours. It's one battery. Yeah, it's one battery. Holy crap. That's um, huge. It's probably, I would guess, it's probably the nicest battery on the market. Yeah, it's nice. I haven't seen what else is out there. It's definitely like the Rolls Royce of batteries. And I wanted that because I didn't want any kind of natural gas in my van. You know, I wanted the van to A, be as environmentally conscious as possible. Sure. So I didn't want any like natural gas or like fossil fuel. Yep. Other than actually I have to drive. Until they come out with like electric self-driving vans. <laughs> I, I'm stuck with having Is this beat. Yeah. Um, guys, I had to just cut the camera just now because, not kidding, there was a swarm of bees. That was the most bizarre thing I've seen. Oh, he headed right for us. There was a, I jumped up and closed the door real quick and we kind of just waited until the swarm passed us, but that was interesting, huh, bud? Yeah, I've never seen that. <laughs> and you're out in the roads a lot. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the whole battery thing. I didn't want any fossil fuels other than, yeah, like I said, like until they invent the self-driving electric van, you know, I, I'm making do with, with the diesel, but um, I didn't want propane. Yeah. So I put in a bigger battery bank for that specific reason because I knew I was going to be cooking on an induction cooktop alone, right. and I knew that I was going to be heating water with an electric water heater. And what size is your inverter? Uh, 2000. 2000 watt, cool. And you charge your inverter through your van alternator? Yeah, it yeah. does. Yeah. So it uh, runs from the battery back to the uh, to the house, mm -hmm. the house battery. Here's my induction cooktop. And so I'm a huge fan of the uh, portables yeah. because of this reason, what you're about to show, I'm assuming. Exactly. Yeah. So. Whenever I want to cook outdoors, this is what pretty much all I got to do to I just plug it in right here and I'm good to go. That's awesome. This is pretty much my cooking setup. And then also I realized I didn't actually plan this, but my lounge chairs, my like camping chairs, yeah. they're like the perfect height for this table. Yeah. So I, I can put one here and one here and you can have like dinner outside too. Ah, there you go. And I've seen people like at other campgrounds setting up all their tables and yeah. chairs and everything. And I just pull up, flip this down, put them the cooktop and I'm, I'm, and already, I'm already done eating by the time they're like setting everything up. <laughs> if you, if we can, uh, let's explain um, the, the seating and also this, the L track that you have. Yeah. So here's the seating in under this seat is a storage box. I have a safe under there and I have pretty much, that's where I put my trash and dirty laundry. Nice. Very nice. So that's my dirty cabinet. <laughs> um, and then under this seat is, composting toilet so uh, everybody always is like where's the toilet where's the toilet so i'm glad that you mentioned it because yeah so sometimes I'm gonna, I feel... i'll set that up for you right now um so basically what all i do is i have like a little storage thing here a little toilet paper very nice and then this is a charging cord that i charge things in bed and then that's pretty much it it'll, it'll stay up so this, it'll stay up very nice yeah and then it's so smart by the way that you also made this the extra couple inches there so you could sit on it after you lift it up yeah um there's a really well designed because a lot of people don't do that and, and it stays up too which is like a big thing absolutely um, yeah so definitely good um this is like as you know like in van life you want to use every every possible storage oh yeah that you possibly can. i actually got these cushions um that that purple company that ma that mattress company. oh yeah yeah they actually make cushions too they do and they're really comfortable are they yeah they're really comfortable i bought a couple of those they're not cheap but worth for, it for as much as you're in the van and, and living in it you know they're definitely worth it 
Awesome. Yeah. So, and the reason, and I, I actually love the fact that you have seating across from each other. Yeah. Um, it's, I think it's important. It's nice to, to do that instead of, you know, other ways that other people do it. The van was, you know, it's usually just me, but I wanted to build the van out for two people, you know, just in case everything was built with the, with the thought of having two people. Um, so the, it's got a full size bed and then I wanted the seating across from each other so that this table, I actually just put in this table this year before I had like a, a flip up table that with a leg that I would have to like get the leg out and like put it with a magnet and all this stuff. I put this in this year and it's really, really heaven on earth. I, I really love it. It's made from a company called Lagoon. Yep. Uh, I just bought a butcher, literally bought a butcher block from Ikea. Yeah. And it's kind of like the, the size that I needed. And this table is probably four in one. So it's a night table for, you know, you could put it here when you're in bed and you could put your water and uh, whatever you want on here. And then when you're want to watch a movie in bed you know you can put it put the computer or whatever ipad or whatever you're using here you know sometimes when i'm working i like to stand up and work and i'll just kind of i'll just like use it as a stand-up desk and then you can lower it and it basically becomes a yeah. dining table yeah that's pretty awesome yeah that's pretty awesome and you have a big bed yeah you know you got the room for it for sure but what what size is your bed so the bed is a full-size bed so it's 54 wide by 75 or 76 long you know i'm five foot ten the bed is six foot Four, I guess I have plenty of uh, space. I have a couple, uh, you know, an inch or two of like extra room. Um, nice. I sleep in the curled up position anyway. So, but even if, if somebody were to, you know, sleep on their back, you know, if they're six foot or six foot one, I don't think they would have any problem. And Absolutely. Even if they did, they could sleep diagonal. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I, I obviously love the little plants in the back. Good job. Yeah. And then <laughs> I have, oh, thank you. And then I have uh, a window here on this side so that when you're laying in bed, you can look out at your view. Cool. And like right now we have a nice view of the mountains and stuff like that. So you could, you know, just lay in bed and, and enjoy the view from, from bed. And you elevated your bed. It's a platform bed. Um, did you want to show me what's underneath there? And oh, by the way, I just wanted to point this out. Very smart not putting any cabinets at the top up there because now you have headroom when you, when you sleep. I like to work uh, a lot from bed, like, you know, use my computer in bed sure. and stuff like that. So I'll set up in bed. I'll actually raise this up a little bit more so my legs go underneath yep. it, of it. And I can sit in bed all day and work from bed. That's great. Specifically didn't want a cabinet over the head. I have a little light here that I it, I just bought at Ikea and it fits like really nice. And it's for, you know, good reading light. And then I actually ran my charging cord. I put an outlet under the bed so that I didn't waste um, any of these charging outlets. Good call. Um, or have a cord running, for, you know, all the time from under the bed. So that's all right there. You'll probably see this all my switches and all my control panels are right on the other side of this cabinet oh nice so um so everything is ran inside this cabinet so if i'm cold and, and in bed i can turn the heater on from bed mm -hmm. i don't have to get out of bed um i can look at my battery percentage um, yep. from bed i can turn on the inverter from bed i can turn on all the lights from bed I actually have a fan back here as well that i put in this year as well it's like a boat it's like yeah. a, a boating fan that's awesome which is which is great. It's like extra. I mean, these fans that are built into the van are more than enough, but sometimes you just want to either drown out some noise or you want to have a little bit of extra ventilation. That yep. van comes in handy. It actually, actually has a built-in light. Wow. So the light there, and then it also has like a little red light on it. Whoa. So the red light's great or like bugs aren't attracted to red lights. So, okay. Um, or camping somewhere with like a lot of mosquitoes or bugs and you don't want them coming inside the van and you want, but you do want a little bit of light. That light is good too. And then, it, you know, it's also a nice mood for like romantic time and stuff like that from bed. Dude, that's awesome, man. Yeah. You are so precise about everything that you do. Like there's a reason behind every little bit that you did in your entire van. It's absolutely. Like a you know, before we go, I want you to talk about, if you can, there are some small details in here that I absolutely love. Like, for example, that shelf. Uh, you also put in a nest system, I noticed. Yeah. So you're, like I said, you're very detail oriented. I love that. I like the Nest system because it's, you know, syncs with your phone and everything like that. And, you know, why not? And you're, you're buying a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide detector. Why not, why not buy like the most technologically advanced one that you can find? Did you hardwire that in? Uh, yeah. Wow. That's... Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. 
it's battery. It's battery. Yeah. Okay, I didn't even know the Nest was battery. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's battery. Yeah, and this is a spice rack. I'm, I just built it with my friend um, Daniel. He's, his Instagram's Daniel Riots, and um, he helped me out building it on the road. And I'm gonna put you know hot sauce and spices up here. Nice, very nice. Um, I do need to build like a one little more one ledge so that like, things don't fall out. All the ProMasters have that little storage area above the driver's area, and this thing is awesome for having like extra storage. I put my all my grab and go stuff is up here, like my jackets, camera equipment. You know, I just grab my cameras, like grab it quickly. You know, my little hiking bag, my drone stuff is up here. Just stuff that you typically want to get to quickly. So this is like a big, really big thing I love about the van is having like a closet. Not a lot of people can hang clothes in a or in a van, I guess. Yeah, and yeah, you so figured out a way to do it, and it's a nice little closet you got there. I I, I enjoy it. Um, I only have like five five shirts in there, but uh, <laughs> I, you could probably fit a few more. But I definitely I, good. I, I don't have any more. But um, you know, these are all for like underwear and socks and shorts and stuff like that. Drawers are you know you know for clothes and top drawers for like kitchen stuff. You have a you have a reason for everything. There's madness, but there's method to it. Oh yeah, there's always a method to the madness. And then but I don't have go. like I don't have like a, a curtain like yours like for like keeping out. Your, I noticed yours is like really thick for the thermal. Thermal. Yeah. I I don't have that, but it it, it, it does the trick because it's double. So I actually oh, there have you go. like it's so this is I bought this like a, it's blackout. Yeah, it's blackout for sure. Yeah. On this side and then on this side I actually bought like a cool forest print. Give uh, yourself a nice little vibe in here. Yeah. So. Well, dude, you're the man. You're very, very intelligent when it comes to van design, van building, and what you what you want, what you need. You've been living van life for however many years at this point, uh, and I can't wait to see what you come up with next. And guys, again, this van is for sale. Hit you up, dude. What's yeah. the best way to get a hold of you? Because I know you have your website, you have your Instagram. Yeah. Uh, do you want to give all that information? Yeah, sure. So my uh, website is theboondocker.com. It's sort of really kind of just a blog website to, for me to document my travels. And uh, my Instagram is the.boondocker. And uh, yeah, you could DM me on the.boondocker sure. or you could um, message me um, on my website, the Boondocker. There's a contact contact page awesome. on there. And um, yeah, get in touch with me if you want to buy it. I honestly, yeah, I, I and I think somebody this is gonna get scooped up fast. Yeah, I already have a few people that are interested in it, but um, if it's not sold by the time that the video <laughs> is published, definitely hit me up. Yeah, you know? well, I will. I will be in touch with you before that to make sure that if it is, I'm either gonna edit all this out or I'll put an overlay that it was already sold. But Josh, man, thank you so much for meeting up with me, and uh, you're literally driving across the country right now. I'm going to visit family in Florida. Everybody's birthday is in March, so I'm headed out uh, literally after right after this. I'm headed to just drive to Florida and, <laughs> yeah. uh, and visit family for a month or two. And then um, I don't really like to plan too much. So there you go. You're a we'll smart man. Answer. You're a smart, smart man. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, again, you can find this lovely man all over the place, all over the internet, all over Instagram. Give him a follow. Give him a like. Give him, a, give him an email. I don't know. Great photography work, too, by the way. So... Yeah, more of my photography work is on my um, on my personal Instagram, which you can link through my my van Instagram. But my personal Instagram is the Burge, which is my last name. Oh, cool. It's T H E B E R G E. But um, <laughs> just link it link it from uh, my my van Instagram. There you go. All right, guys. Well, uh, hey man, awesome. I'm so glad we got to meet Thank up again. Uh, it's good to see you again. Yeah, awesome, dude. Well, let's keep in touch, man. Thank you. All right, man. Well, All right. this is us signing off. <laughs>